So I'll just give you a quick look around the lake. And so this is Kingfisher Lake. It's a bit of a beaut, I must say. It's a very attractive venue. So this is the top, top half of the lake. Couple, couple islands. Looking nice. Very nice, big, defined, open, nice swims. The ones around here tend to be all this rock action, but around the other side they're all nice and wood chipped. So yeah, the swims the other side have this kind of wood chip action, which I quite quite partial. On. It's nice, it's nice, soft. And this is the end corner swim. The swim over in that corner, I believe that's number seven. That's meant to be one of the go-to best swims on the lake, supposedly. Plus you've got a lot more water to fish on if you're in that one. But yeah, it's Kingfisher, Mouse Hole. Very nice lake. We've also got, as you can see through here, there's a couple huts down there. One. There's obviously a little tackle and bait shop. One is a nice little, nice little cafe type venue whereby people come around on a golf buggy. Do you want any food? Yes, please. They go and make it, cook it, drive it back round to you. Lovely job, Lucy. You've not even got to leave your swim if you want some cooked food. Nice breakfast I'll be getting later, hopefully, when they come around. Very nice place. With apparently very nice fishing, as you've seen. And then back to uh, Titan Alley. What are they, Cheers. Brewskis, mate. Toasting yourself there, that nice 38 pounder and a half. And a half, mate. Have when sweet dreams of that fish? Well, I did, I couldn't really sleep that well because I was so excited about it. <laughs> But seeing that, seeing that picture the other week, the one that you sent me, the bloke who caught that big common in here. Mm. When I was standing there thinking, I want that fish. I'd have never thought that. Probably got that fish. Yeah. Do you reckon yeah. it was the same fish? Don't know. We'll have to review the, the pictures, but. Yeah. They look very similar. They're different weights, look. Yeah. Bosh. Sell wafter for the win. Yeah. Mate, that was quite fun. See the bobbin move. Shimmer and shake. Here we go. Day two. It is approximately and exactly 7.48 in the AM. Rod's been out only about 10 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, literally. You cannot go wrong. 
with a wafter. And that, that was a clean swirl. That was a fat fish swirl. I'll tell you what, if we maintain the average of 20s, I mean, I did say yesterday is we'd get another, we'd get another 30. But maybe it's now. Are you on the dating app grinder? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, there's rods there, I'm going to stand on this rod for sure. Hopefully, this is a sign of different temperature, different situation, different day. Because this has been out 10 minutes and bosh. There's really a small fish in it at the minute. I think they're all going to be like. I think this is the kind of venue where you probably guaranteed a minimum 15, which means you probably get us out and it'll be 12. I'll immediately look an idiot, but. Also, I don't think there's any mirrors in here either. Well, there must be some. They just must be actually rare, which is how I thought it was always meant to be. Hence the name common. They're common. <laughs> I never really caught a big common since until like recently this year and to this to be obviously because when I got that 31 pounder it that took me, my god, near damn near an hour probably to catch. Yeah. 45 minutes at least. And then yesterday that took quite a while. Mirrors just go, wow, okay. Yeah, just get me in. Get, get, get on with it. Do what you have to do. Get your picture. Do what you must. Just submissive. Hmm. Commons like nah. No shark. Well, you've got, you've got clear action in, there's not just another yeah. single rod in the water, so... I don't have to worry about that. It's quite nice. Mm. We're nearing the end. Oh, it's coming a bit pacey in the end there. Bingo. What's What's it? Her name? Her name. I'd say 14, 15. I don't know why, but another good looking comment. Clean. We'll get some carp care on that mouth. Is the issue. This little little area here. Yeah. We'll nip that in the bud. We will nip that in the bud. Okay. Tidy. Yeah. Lovely job, Dee. Just going to see Tone. Let's see what. Have a little rig check. Let's call this segment a rig check with Tone. Rig, rig check with Tone. So this is your, this is your, this is your the bottom bait. What we got? What we, what are you rocking? So this is what I caught. This was it. Twenty four and the 15, 14, 13, whatever mm -hmm. it was. This is my bottom rig. So I've got the IQ D rig. It's a size 6 hook. Let's give us some of that. So where are you going with it? Hold up. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, there we go. Yeah, boy. Yes. Rig check, rig check with time. This, and is, this is on the IQ D rig. So there you go, what you've just seen is uh, what's on the rod right now. What an appropriately timed a rig check that was. <laughs> yeah. Rig check with tone. Rig check with tone. So, going back to it, so I've got the IQD rig, size 6 hook, topped off with a 14mm cork wafter there cell. Go. There you go. 
with a two ounce flat pair. Job done. And this one again hasn't really been out probably not probably not even half hour. No. And what was the little the little bag of goodies you had in there as well? Oh, so I've been using you know, the old pellets are in there. Mm -hmm. the sticky sticky krill, I uh -huh. think yeah. they are. It's just using a couple, making up a couple of bags of them and soaking them in um, garlic goo. Mm -hmm. Dropped them off out in the boat mm -hmm. with a few freebies from um, freebie boilies that was made by the bay lift mm -hmm. which what were they um disgusting smelling things yeah i don't know what they uh, squid and garlic they were squid and garlic yeah so it sounds like garlic's the way yeah but i've tried garlic boilies and that didn't work so i think garlic as an attractant is the one yeah but there may be uh, not so much on the hook at the minute and then hold on, hold on then. <laughs> we will show you the surface fishing rig. Oh, that the we surface used, fishing rig's the one. That we used to catch the. Um, well, your 22 and my 38 and a half. What's this feel like compared to the last little one? Uh, what do you reckon? Mirror? No, I'll take a mirror. We need, we need, we need, we need visuals on a mirror, would be nice. Because of the, co the common of this clean looking. Yeah. I'd imagine they've got some good looking mirrors in here if they're in here. Oh. I'm thinking, it is a mirror. It is a mirror. There you go. Oh mate, we know what we're doing around here. <laughs> it is a mirror. We got ourselves a mirror. Hopefully. Mm. Hopefully it does what normal mirrors do and just gives up quicker. <laughs> yeah, it's not put enough as, as, as scrap as commons do. So. Net. <laughs> Net. <clears throat> hmm. I think my reels need a service. Mm -hmm. Well, if anyone can recommend a good real service company, pop it in the comments and. Uh, and get these sorted out. I reckon a tackle box in dark would do it. You reckon tackle box, yeah. Or, I might have a go at doing it myself. Oh, there you go. I did do mine. Yeah? yeah. It's another 15 ish type one. But it's a mirror, so it's thumbs up. The answer's the question, are there mirrors in here? Bang. There is. You need at least one, yeah, least one mirror. Oh. Hey, what? Oh. It's got a little shoot this one. Yeah, it is. The mirror's put in the fire as well. It doesn't even like the bank. This one's got... Here we go. Look at that. Nice. Up if I've ever seen one. Thanks, mate. All right, guest time. I'm going 14 and a half. Do you know what? I'm going to go for 16. 16, all right. Yeah. Well, let's get it going. First mirror. Got to give the credit to Wave the first mirror. So the first mirror of the day of the session weighs 15 and a half, I'd say. Yeah. Fluttering, but I'd just commit to saying a half. 15 and a half. So it's close then. Well, I, said, I mean, I said 15, but... Did you? No, you didn't. Oh, no, I you said, said 14, didn't I you? said 15 earlier, and then changed to 14 and a half for no apparent reason. But we was, we was around about the right area, aren't we? That no, looks tiny compared to your other big one. <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking apple action.
gone. Gone, sir. Where was we? Rig time with tone. Rig time with tone. So we go to the we go to the we'll go to the surface rig now. Surface fishing rig. There she is. What's the... So we got size 12 hook. Just basically tied on with um. Yep. With knotless hair rig. A foot and a half, maybe two foot of floating line. Mm -hmm. With the Nash 15, 15 grams bolt, rig, um, bolt float machine, I think it's called, isn't it? Or something I think like so, that. machine, yeah. With a 15 pound floating main line all the way through. And if you want to see how I made this, Clicking the link up the top, mm -hmm. and um, we've got we've got a video. I've got a video there where you can have a look and watch me make it. But technically, in that video, it'll be using one of these, one of these old boys that you're all probably familiar with. And as on a size 12 hook as well, which is impressive. So. 38 and a half pound common on a size 12 hook. Yeah, this is the, yeah, this is the rig I caught that big common on, so I'm quite happy about that. You would have thought like a that size hook. 38 pound fish. Yeah, for uh, half. And a half. half. Sorry, I'm apologies. Get the half. Sorry, and a half. I keep forgetting the half. No, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> anyway, that was rig check with tone. Bingo. World's most awkward moment. Out in the vessel, other rod goes off. Whilst putting the other rod out. And and put... So now he's caught his other line because he was mid boat in it. But if we get the fish in, we'll get over all that. Yeah. Especially if it's a 40 pound common. You'll definitely get over it. I'll tell you what. Go on. I'm gonna get it away from there, mate. I, mean, I don't need to tell you what to do, but. Is this a matter of if we can flick that line over or are you clear of it? What's happening? No, it's, it doesn't matter now. Could have done it. Proper timing was bad. It weren't the best. I mean, the boat was literally at dropping point. Yeah. Get my line as well, I'm kicking cleaner. Oh, it's come off the line. It's come off the line. It's common. See that? Didn't look massive. No. Look like you're hitting the same kind of averages here. You've brought the average right down. <laughs> Killing the session. Sorry, yeah. Neck couldn't be further away from you either. Oh, good, because I wasn't. <laughs> Win. Win. Here we go, another one. Look at the look at the tail on this. Pretty, isn't it? That is different for a common. That is. Uh, mm. That's interesting. Size on the back. Nice, nice colour, gold, isn't it? Get a bit of carp care on this mouth. Whoa! Easy girl. Oh man. Fish. Oh, fish. Oh, I'm not happy. 
anything about this. That's got to be the smallest one so far. But quite pretty. It's, it's the most different with that yeah. with that tail action. A block of gold. Welcome to day two. So yeah, this is day two. We had some quite some quite some quite chunky chunks yesterday. Well happy with my 38 and a half pound. Can't forget the half. Make this 22 pound of gold. It was a really nice colour. Proper impressed with that. This is the view of the lake. Yeah, we're doing all right. We've, I've had a few more off the bottom today. I've had them up, up tight up to the island. Um, 15, 16s, nothing too big. But we are waiting for this evening. Hopefully we can get them back feeding off the top again because I do like me a bit of surface fishing. Also, I want to, um, I think I want to dedicate my 38 and a half pounds to my stepdad. Watching down on me, got his out here. Still got his out. There it is. And um, yeah. So if you've caught a banging 30 plus common mirror, come and send it on our Facebook page. Also, come and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that like button, leave us a comment, and also hit that notification bell so you always so you always know when our videos are being put up. So, if we have any more fish in the bank, any more updates, you'll be the first to know. So, two half an hour. And a screamer. We get the art pumping. That happens too quickly. I saw action, like, like um, action going on around there. Well, I suspect that you saw you kept casting your, your surface out there, mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I did that tactically, tip, so it'd scare them down to the bottom. And it worked, mate. Another rod, mate. Come around. Every time. Why do I get my rods every time? Oh, I'm on twice in a day. Is she huge? She's small. Is she? <laughs> I'll take a midday fish. Yeah, a midday fish. Baker's catching a fish. Yeah. Catching all kinds of fish. Yeah. Being eyeballed by other anglers everywhere, yeah. <laughs> Literally every direction at the moment, yeah. Yeah. To my left and in front. Yeah. <laughs> I won't lose my neck. Mm. It's a nice little camo tea, that. Good, mate. Yeah, mate. Mm, camo. Yeah. Can't just let my neck sit down somewhere. Why is it not focusing when I zoom in? Because the focus don't bother to zoom in because it will. Hmm, oh, that's weird. The difference in the speed of motion to the big what, ones. You? <laughs> to the big ones is mad because. Them other ones are so chilled and slow. Yeah. Look at the speed. Oh, hang on forever, mate. You're watching, it's a mirror. I think that's a mirror. You're watching this thinking, his rig tubing's long. I'll tell you why that is. Go on. I've tried something different. Yeah. This is braided rig tubing. Nice. It's green and black. 
breaks up the um, breaks it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It? Breaks up the colour. So I thought I'd give it a spin. Hey, you got a fish on the end of it, mate. So far. It does put in a good fight, no matter what type of fish you get from here. Not on. I think they are just about come to from a semi nap. <laughs> Still a half hour number, nothing special. Half hour nap, mate, it's just, you know, it's decent. Recharges your batteries. Gets you focused again. Ooh. I've got all kinds of line tangle, all kinds. Oh, oh. oh that's gonna get cut off again. She's in, she's in. Again, again with the line twangage. <laughs> cut it down, Tone. It's alright, wet line fans. Calm yourself it. down, yeah. Look, wait till you see this beauty. We could be on for fish of the day, yeah. Fish yeah. of the session. Again, fish of the year. I said it last time. <laughs> Hold your breaths. This might even be better than your 38, you know, I reckon. You reckon? Oh, there we go. Let me stretch. Go on. Take some deep breaths, mate. Get yourself ready. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Hang on. Put one. Yeah. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, that's the yeah. cutest fish I've said. Yeah, she is Hang cute. On, my hands are all over the shop here. Oh, that's the cutest fish I've said. Yeah. And another mirror. Another mirror. We've, tap, we've tapped into the mirrors. Hello. Sure makes it easy to hold them when they're this small. <laughs> yeah. Nice, mate. My rigs all just get destroyed if I catch a fish. <laughs> oh! So does your rods. So, <laughs> that's both rods, I think are pretty much jeffed. Jeffed. Tiny. You know. Hold on, mate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'd like to get your 10 rods sorted back out again and put them yeah, back mate, in Yeah mate, cheers for that. Nice, nice one. <laughs> Look at the state of that. The other one wrapped around good, this one which is still good. I might just go scissor hand. It's like scissor hands. Not that long, no. Facts. What? Don't want that in your life. There you are. <laughs> I'm almost thinking I'd rather have not caught the fish and had this still good than catch the fish and have this now. Now napping's not even an option. Oh, you guys are close. <laughs> now napping's not an option because I've got no rods in the water because they're both absolutely jeffed. Good luck with that one, mate. Cheers, mate. Bingo! Another rod that's been out about, what, 10 minutes? I've got hooked up from the other line. And there you go. Got the old heart going. Yeah, that did that one. That's what happens when you have a good bit of noise to your alarms, Tony. It adds spice to it. Oh, God. Mm, you gave me a heart attack. Yeah, that's a bit of me. <laughs> Not the heart attack, but <laughs> the, I find the alarm going crazy adds to the excitement. Yeah. yeah it might be just me. a bit bigger. I think she might be the biggest mirror we've had so far. We've only had two of them so far. I had one, the tiniest one, and you had one, or have you had two? One, I've had one. Two, likely. Oh, this line. This line that you've already had once out, nearly out. Yeah. It's a bit ideal. Can't reach it there. Oh, we've got problems. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs>
I can reach it. And then we'll get it enough so we can sniff it. Fish in net, extra line in net. Awkward situation. Achieved. Seen this? It's got quite a big body. Look at the size of his head. And that's a, that's a fish bunt, punching above its weight here in terms of what it's eating, clearly. Yeah. With a little head like that one. What do you reckon? Weight? 16, 17. It's fatter than it should be. 19. Right. Let's get down to business. I ain't got no time to play around. What is this? Must be a 19 pound to tell me, say, what? Don't look at it. I'll tell you. Ooh. I'm decent at this game, but I'm not that good. That is just one notch under 19 and a half. Ooh, I said 19, didn't I? I couldn't tell you, mate. I don't even remember what I said. I said 19. There you go. 19. You're finding the mirrors now. They Only one fish to the target, the new target 10. Tell you what. No. Just gone out? Yeah. What's that one? It's yours. Oh god. No, it's not. It was, the bobbin just moved. Everyone be calm. I reckon that's just you swimming through mine. Correct. Yeah. Let's all be calm. Good little flies are back. I'm all excited there, Tom. Thought we was going to get a double take there. <laughs> How would we have done that? Just, just got on with it. Just set it up on top of you. Just got on with actually catching fish and deal with this later. End of day two. Definitely an evening fish lake, isn't it? Yeah, I think the surface would have happened if these ducks were not here. Because we didn't have enough bait to get rid of them. Feel like the same as the average last lot? Oh, it feels a bit chunky. Oh, hold on, a bit chunky. We do with a common now. I'm getting bored of all these mirrors. <laughs> we've gone through like commons, then we've gone through a whole patch of mirrors. What a lovely evening. Lovely venue. Let's end it with a lovely finish. I hate it. I hate it when you get spectators, you're like, oh, don't talk. I hate, I hate, I hate having an audience. Whether I'm cameramaning or fishing. Yeah. It's just, it's a private sport, go away. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we enjoy our moments. You're about 84 swims away. Have a look at this, better boy. Nice colours. That tail's pretty. Another clean fish though. Yeah, it is. That's a clean fish. Get yourself the mouse out, man. I think we have a nice. Definitely. Ain't had one dodgy one. Even if you fancy some commons as well. Put yourself over here. Not a way to potentially end it. Who knows? There you go ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the vlog i am now at home sat on the drive ready for the inevitable unpacking of that load of joy so if you made it this far through the vlog 
I appreciate that, and I hope you enjoyed the video. As you're saying, we made some cracking catches. Tony with a new PB, absolute shunk, especially on his first trip to that lake. I mean, my second trip, first one was an absolute dud. But that one, that was good times. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of our content, hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell. And you'll be, in a, it, you'll be notified when we put up new videos, which there will be still. We are going to carry on fishing through the winter. We're not going to become fair weathermen, fair weather fishermen. We will be out amongst it, all being well. The COVID doesn't cause another lockdown, and we can still get booked on venue. But yeah, so for now, for me, Ian Baker, White Lines, keep those lines wet, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!